Well, hello, good morning, and welcome back to the um, to the mudroom. I'm Tom. Um, yesterday, I got some good news, and uh, some really ecstatic news. And the ecstatic news is that I was finally able to finish. There's still a couple little spots, but was able to finish rust bluing my '94. And I mean, it took it took a lot. It was the first time I did it. I made um, I made a lot of mistakes, and uh, some of the the things that I learned was, um, you know, when using that steam tube that I used for uh, for doing the the barreled receiver, um, one of the things that I didn't do was heat the tube up first before I uh, before I put the the barrel on. And what that causes, from what I understand, and what that causes is streaking um, on your receiver. And that's exactly what happens. So if you're going to use that tube, make sure that you heat the tube up first before you do anything. Um, the other thing I learned was uh, preparation. It's not just a little preparation. There's a lot of preparation that goes into uh, making sure that this thing is going to come out okay. Uh, it took, man, I, I stripped this thing down four or five times, um, took it and put it in uh, acetone. And then when I ran out of acetone, I put it in alcohol and just with a scrub brush, uh, with a toothbrush, just scrubbed the shit out of it. And then um, I had to take Q-tips and make sure that I got all the, uh, all of the, the holes, make sure that they're uh, having this thing off and it was a pain. Uh, but like I said, I, I was tried to get it off and I was afraid I was going to bend it and then that would just make things worse. So I, I did it with it on there. Um, boiling probably would have been better because it actually boiling did turn out better than, than, um, if I had, um, steamed it. Um. And what I did was after I was done, there was still some small areas that just no matter what I had done, no matter how many times I'd done it, uh, continued to show up um, not quite as dark or not dark at all. And I think that was the imperfections in the metal. So I took a little bit of, uh, of uh, my oxyfo and put that on those areas and, and it covered them up really nice. Now for reality, the way that I did this also, I, I no longer use the steam tube. Like I said, I boiled it. Um, you're supposed to boil it in, uh, in uh, distilled water. I didn't. Um, the water up here in Vermont is pretty clean. I uh, read a thing where, it's, where people were using just tap water and uh, so I experimented a little bit on some parts and on an old barrel that I had to see how it would come out and it came out fine so <laughs> what I did was I got a big pot and I boiled a bunch of water in it and I stuck the the receiver in the barrel inside the big pot of water um, unfortunately um, this much of the barrel stuck up out of the pot uh, so after 10 15 minutes, I took it out and turned it around and put it back in for another 10 or 15 minutes It shouldn't have worked But it worked and I've got a beautiful uh, barrel receiver and all I have to do is put it together now I know there's gonna be people gonna write me and say that do you know that I did it wrong and and whatever? But I, I just don't have the money to to buy, you know 20 gallons of of uh, distilled water and I don't have the money to buy the pan that you can boil your your uh, barrels in so I, I guess I did it uh, the bubble way and I was lucky enough that it worked and um, I, I don't know what else to say but it worked it's fine it turned out beautiful um, like I said, all I have to do now is put the gun together and we'll do a little demonstration on the gun. And and I just want to let people know what was going on. Okay. Oh, the t-shirt says, Moo, I'm a goat. 
Um, I don't know, I know, that makes no sense at all. But the before I did this, and before the Parkinson's came, I had a goat farm, and I had 23 goats, and um, what I, they were Angora goats, and I used them for their hair. And what I did was we, uh, I would send it off to get it uh, spun, and when it came back, I would dye it myself, and then we'd sell it at the farmer's markets. So, you know, goats were, were my life for, for 10 years, and um, I got all sorts of goat t-shirts, so this is, uh, this is one of them. So, anyway, I hope you have a good day, and again one of those things about uh using tap water or whatever you know don't do as i say uh don't uh, don't do as i you know i done do what they tell you to do um but i had just gotten tired of of uh you know uh, polishing it down and uh, then uh trying to boil it again and it came out streaky every time and i think part of the streakiness was the heating up of the the tube so I'm going to try it again and I'm going to try the tube again and this time I'm going to heat the tube up of course it's been 30 degrees here so I mean so it's gone from really cold and the bluing doesn't really work well when you put it in somewhere and wait for it to warm up it's supposed to be a shock type this is the heat here it is so but I'll, I'll try it again but for right now I'm, I'm happy with what I have and uh, this is 1919 model 94 in 30 wcf and i'm going to put it together okay thank you oh yeah and one other thing that i that i forgot to tell you i i'm at my coat on because i had to go outside a, a the snow pulled a huge branch off of one of our trees hit our fence so it's, that's not good but anyway one of the things that i wanted to tell you about uh, when you're doing your your uh, rust bluing is that when you get it to where you want it to be and it's not going to look as dark as 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 you think but when you get it that it's not going to it's not turning any darker then what you got to do is you got to take it out and you got to cover it in oil and uh, I mean cover it in oil and what I did was I just sprayed rim oil all over it and you got to let it sit for about 24 hours and it'll get real dark real real black and uh, and then you wipe it off of course the, the next day so I, I just forgot to mention that and um, and that that's about it and then the next uh, video we'll do is with the rifle all put together okay thank you